Alright guys, this is Kaylin Barley from Journey Dog Training and here we're going to demonstrate Susan Garrett's It's Your Choice, which is kind of an introduction to Leave It for a lot of people. Um, this isn't my total favorite way to teach Leave It anymore. Um, I have recently been reading a lot about some other ways that might be a little bit less frustrating for your dog to um, learn to leave it. Um, because this one can, um, especially if done wrong, um, cause a little bit of frustration because essentially what it is is I'm going to put some food in my hand. If Barley dives in after the food, um, I am going to uh, close my hand and we're basically going to repeat until he doesn't dive in after the food and then at that point he's going to be rewarded by me actually giving him the food. When this is done incorrectly, it is too hard and the dogs can easily get really frustrated because they really want the treat and they can't get to it. Um, so with dogs that really, really don't have any foundation in this, really want the treat, I would recommend starting with the treat up higher where it's going to be easier for them to um, kind of disengage from it and then move down lower and you also can just lower your criteria so for some dogs like when I was working at the shelter and we were working with a lot of dogs that had no background in obedience and no impulse control and were just totally starved for attention and food um, we would do a lot of like and that's it and that was success um, as long as I can open my hand without you grabbing the treat you're gonna get that treat and then we built up To that you know eventually you get to a place where the dog can leave it for longer um i just don't if for dogs are really really struggling with that don't start at that level for barley who already has a pretty good foundation and leave it and we actually have done this game um as a training demo before um you might see me pushing him a little bit more and getting a lot of success with him really quickly don't necessarily expect that with your own dog if your dog has no experience with this game um the other thing you can do is actually lower the value of your treats if you're really struggling with this game Put your hand up higher, um, reward for um, even smaller increments of success, and use crappier treats. Um, you know, if you've got a whole piece of Christmas ham right there for your dog and you're trying to get him to leave it for five minutes right off the bat, of course this is going to be an incredibly frustrating game both for you and for them. So without further ado, Barley and I'll demo. Um, he just brought me a stick, so hopefully we're going to be able to redirect him away from the stick and onto the treats. You gotta get in frame. All right. So, treats are closed in my hand. Good. Good. I'll lower my hand to make it a bit harder. He's nosing, he's licking, he's very gentle though, because he's a good boy. Good. And Barley and I have been doing quite a bit of work on uh, backup lately, um, so it's actually cool to see him kind of offering that behavior right now as a way. Um, you often will see dogs, here I'll give him the rest so that I can talk. Um, you also will see dogs um, often like lying down or backing up during this game because my theory is because they're kind of like, okay, I can't be that close to it. It's too tempting, but I can be successful if I move a little bit further away. I absolutely would recommend rewarding that choice. That is a great choice on your dog's part. It's always super exciting to see dogs that do that. And it's actually surprising how many dogs do make that choice. So again, I'll demo again here and see if I can get Barley to demonstrate that little backup behavior. Cause that actually is like my ultimate uh, joy in this game is seeing dogs kind of figure out like, okay, I'm too close to the cookie jar. I cannot handle myself that close. But if I back up a little bit, I can be successful. So I'm gonna get him in close to me again. He's licking. He's looking. And he backed up. Good job. One of the other things that a lot of people miss with this game is I actually want you to be sure that you um, reward like I just did. You don't let your dog dive in here. Um, so to level up on this game, you can put the treats on the ground and then cover them with a cupped hand like that. Um, and practice there where you're kind of opening like this and then eventually move up to more of truly removing your hand. So if this hand is the floor, um, and then doing the same with your foot and then actually practicing kind of like live, uh, live trials, I guess, uh, there's a, there's a better phrase for that, but whatever, um, where you're actually dropping, you know, kind of casually pretending to drop something while you're cooking or eating. Um, but then it's actually a trial run of this game. Um, so you're ready to cover it. One of the biggest things with this game is uh, 
if your dog is faster than you and gets the treat, um, what your dog just learned is that being faster than you is what pays. So I would really recommend making sure that you have set up your training scenario in a way that you can be faster than your dog if they decide to go for it. And I'm just gonna reward that back up because it was just so good. Um, so I think that's about it for kind of a casual introduction to the It's Your Choice game. Again, Susan Garrett um, is all about this game. I'm pretty sure she's the one who invented it. If you're really interested in it, she's got like whole webinars on the subject. Um, it's a good one. I enjoy teaching it. I think it's kind of fun. It's a good intro to leave it. Um, and it's one of the easier ones for many clients. Um, so go ahead and give it a shot.